guys, it's Cole with South Ridge Outdoors. Today I'm going to do a short video on the Wild Edge Steps. Um, free stretching the ropes, tying the knot. Um, so we'll talk about how to get it cammed over where it needs to be on the tree to have it cam over correctly because it can get a little um, springy sometimes. Like it wants to pop back up like that. Um, so we'll go over all that and here we go. Alright guys, so first thing we'll talk about is tying the knot. So the knot's a little bit confusing, but I know most people know this that have these steps, but maybe for people that don't, if you ever forget, as long as you have your bag with you, it shows you how to tie the knot right on the bag. So First thing you want to do is, when you put this thing up against the tree, put the standoffs flat against the tree. And then when you start to tie your knot, make sure that your rope is under this standoff because if it's over it, it won't cam over correctly. So, take it, just lean yourself against here. Bring your rope around, so now, this comes under here so i'm going to look at my bag goes okay so you want to come under and through the triangle all right and then through that behind the step and then through that part tighten it up. Now once you get the knot started, if you pull it with one hand and tighten the slack with the other hand, that's the knot. Now to get this cammed over, if you see how the rope is kind of on a downward angle here, when you cam it you have to get that up higher than like the level plane. Now you see how that wants to spring back over? That means it's not high enough. So you gotta keep working it <coughs> until it's high enough that it doesn't pop. Like that. So now that's that. What I've seen with all my research on these, and I think I've even seen a video where the Wild Edge people recommend that you leave these on a tree for like a day so that the rope can stretch. So that way, like you don't take these things out the first time you go to hunt with them. And as you're standing on, especially your top one with your, whatever your platform is, or if you're gonna use a ring of them, so, you want to get your ropes pre-stretched so that when you're hunting, when you go out and you're standing on these things all day, that they're not getting loose as you're standing there. If, once you get them pre-stretched, there won't be any more stretch left in the rope. So, as you're standing on this thing all day hunting, you won't have to worry about it. So, that's that. So, we're going to leave that one on the tree. And I'll put another one up just to demonstrate the knot again. So, standoffs flat against the tree. Rope comes around behind. This is the hardest part of these things, by the way. Especially for guys like me who have T-Rex arms. So, coming under. Going around the back, pull that through there. Let's get this up out of here. That's that. All right. No, that's a little loose. So pull the slack around, tighten it up. Now up. And 
in there. All right. Okay, so that is that for the steps. Now, the perch is the platform that Wild Edge makes that goes with these steps. So this thing's super easy to set up. So this goes down inside the step. These little hooks grab this bar right here. And then you just push it to lock it in. And that's it. That's what you stand on while you're hunting all day. Um, I'll do a little video later on where I'll actually get on this thing and move around, but I want to get my ropes pre-stretched so that way when I'm on this thing it's not moving around and wobbling because if you see right now because this rope's not stretched it has a little bit of play in it so we'll get that worked out but guys thanks for watching the video um, if you liked it remember to leave a like subscribe to our channel um, gonna be a lot of videos coming up being that it's a, a month away from turkey season here in Pennsylvania we're gonna do some uh, shotgun patterning videos probably some vest dumps to see what we carry with us when we're turkey hunting and that's that so thanks for having us and we'll see you